Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. First, try it on your own. See what you can do. And then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. All right. So we're given four expressions and they want to know which result in an, an irrational number. And here, um, I think what I notice is that in choice three, we have radical five times radical five. And that's the equivalent of radical 25. When you're multiplying square roots, right, um, or dividing, you can just multiply the radicand, the number inside the symbol. So it's 5 times 5, that's 25. And what's the square root of 25? Well, that's just 5. Now that's a rational number. This is rational. Now this is an important observation, and it's very helpful in this problem, because if you notice, 2, 3, and 4 all include choice 3, right? So that means none of them can be the irrational choice, and only 2 is the answer. And we'll talk about two things now. What is a rational number? And then we'll go back to choice two to talk about why we know that a half plus radical two is irrational. So a rational number is a number that can be written as the ratio of two integers. Now integers are positive or negative whole numbers, and five can be written as five over one, for example, or 10 over two or negative 5 over negative 1. There's many ways, there's infinite ways to write 5 as the ratio of two integers. But irrational numbers, irrational numbers, they cannot be written as the ratio of integers. And it's a really cool concept, right? Here we're just going to touch upon it. And with choice 2, we have a half Right? plus radical 2. Now, this has to be irrational. Right? Essentially, if you take any rational number and you add it to an irrational number, the result is always irrational. This always happens. Now, why does this happen? Well, I'm not going to prove it right here. It's not too difficult at all to prove. Uh, I'm just going to explain it in a more informal way. Um, why does it make sense that this would give an irrational result? Well, a half is just 0 0.5. And what's the square root of 2? Well, if you forget, you can pull it up on your calculator. 2 to the 0.5 power, that's the square root of 2. It's this decimal here, 1.41421356.2, right? And we'll estimate that the 1.412. 1 1.412, da, da, da. It keeps going with no, no pattern. The irrational number, when you expand it, you get these digits that never terminate, so they go on forever. They're non-terminating, and they're non-repeating. The digits are non-repeating. Non-repeating simply means there's no pattern that repeats itself. There might be small patterns, like, hey, I noticed that there's two fours here, right? That's a pattern. Uh, but there's no repeating pattern, no chunk. It doesn't go 4142, 4142. There's nothing like that. And if that happens, you have an irrational decimal. Now, the informal way that I think about why it makes sense that a rational decimal plus an irrational is still irrational is just to add these, right? I would get 1.4 and 0.5 is 9. And the only thing that's changed is this little digit right here. And the rest keeps going on without a repeating pattern. So the really informal way of talking about why it makes sense that a rational decimal plus, or fraction, plus an irrational decimal is still irrational, is that the rational decimal will only change, right, a finite amount of digits. It can only change so many. And when it does that, the, it doesn't matter because the rest of it, the rest of your decimal is still going to continue with no repeating pattern. But then you say, well, wait a minute, Sean, what if the rational number we're looking at is 0.3 repeating? This is rational. It goes on forever with a repeating pattern. Would that, right, this is a third, one third, that is rational. Isn't that going to, to add to every digit here and change the whole thing? Well, yes, it is, but it's going to change them all by 0.3. So you get 1.7, 7, uh, 4 plus 3 is 7, and then 1 plus 3 is, of course, 4, right? And then 7, and then 5, and so on and so forth. So all the digits will be added by 3. But all you're going to get then is another non-terminating, non-repeating section of digits here. It's still irrational, right? Um, anyway, so I hope this helped. Thank you.